Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a handbag collection or purse collection, whatever you would call it. I have a lot of different handbags. So I thought this would be a really good video to make and I'm trying to ban myself from shopping from any more. So maybe if I have a video of all the ones I have, it'll like, it'll encourage me to not buy anymore. Do you know what I mean? And I really hope this whole video is in focus because I'm trying to get better at using this camera. I'm really, really trying. Okay, let's start with my everyday handbag. So this is my... This is a vintage, I guess, Juicy Couture bag that I got from Vestia Collective. Um, and I've just hung... Uh, this Hello Kitty is from Mint My Desk. And I just, it's like a little coin purse, but I just put it there for the accessory. And I just hung it on there because it's cute. So this is what it looks like. It is grey with the Juicy Couture, with the, like, the lion emblem in pink. And it has this sparkly Juicy Couture charm. And also it has the... The scarf through but the scarf was perfect when we got it but then I wanted to wash it because it was like obviously quite old um and so yeah it's like not as good so yeah but the inside is pretty good quality it says like shop inside it has like a bunch of shit in it so I don't want to like show properly <laughs> but yeah it's a really good size um on the body I really really like it it's perfect for like an everyday size then I have some fake vintage juicy which I feel like well, we say it's fake. I bought it from Nisa Thrift, so she gets, like, um, a bunch of, like, 2000s, like, dead stock or, like, vintage items. And these are just, like, juicy that's probably not real, but, like, it's still cute as F. So, I love it anyway. This is, like, a brown and pink bowler bag. Um, it says Juicy Couture on it in pink and has, like, a little charm. It's really, really adorable. I love how it's brown and pink. I think brown and pink is such a cute color combo. The inside looks like this. It's a little bit worn, a worn in, but um, I, I've only used it, I think, once. Um, it's quite a loud purse, so. But I am hoping I'll use it more this autumn because I really want to wear a lot of um, pinks and browns in autumn. I think that's the autumn vibe. My other juicy bag I have that it's also like a, a knockoff bag or whatever. It's this, um, like, leopard print juicy bag. Yeah, I really love this one. I've used this quite a few times. Like, I just love it. It's such a vibe. Like, it just makes any outfit look a little bit tacky, but in a good way. Um, yeah, and it's, like, a, it's like quite big as well. You can fit heaps of things in it. So, I've taken it on nights out when I want to, like, carry a lot of things. But it does have quite a, quite a short thing, so it's kind of annoying to hold it. Same with the bowler bag. Um, so, it's not... Obviously, it wouldn't be good for, like, an everyday bag, but it's still very, very cute. I don't have any more of my um, Juicy Couture bags that I got from TK Maxx. I used to have a huge collection. Um, I mostly just have like the bags that you take, um, like the sleepover bags or whatever, like the big duffel bags I've kept, but none of like the smaller bags. I've just kind of grown out of them. The only bag that I have here from TK Maxx is this DKNY bag, which I love so much. It was like 90 bucks, I think. It was really expensive, but it's like got graffiti, like DKNY all over it, and it has two zips with compartments in it and also this big middle zip which I love using the zip on a night out to put my phone in because it's just easy access but you can clip it shut it's like the amount of like lipsticks and shit I've lost on a night out because I'm like looking for my phone and I just drop shit um but yeah this is like my favorite bag for a night out because it's also got the long strap which you can just put over your body and it's like it feels a bit more safe and comfortable than having a handbag. I wouldn't really recommend having like a mini bag on a night out. It's just not fun and practical. Like definitely a bag like this. I wanted to show this. I have like a number of totes, but they get grubby over time and I end up just using them for like random things like shipping and stuff. Um, but I got this one recently from Mid My Desk. It's got Karomi on it. It's really cute. They have heaps of ones there. There's like a Mid My Desk at Melbourne Central. It has heaps of um, like Sanrio and like My Melody. Um, and Karomi stuff, so this is like really cute. I just wanted to show it <laughs> from ASOS. I've got this Von Dutch bag, which I'm so annoyed the first time I used it, and I've only used it once. Um, I use it at War at Festival X. Um, I'll probably insert a photo of me with it. Um, and I bought it specifically for this green dress I was wearing, and I full did my nails like pink and green. Oh, look at my nails, by the way. That's for carnival on the weekend. I did my nails pink and green for the for the outfit, but then the dress looked ugly on the day, but then I ended up wearing just like pink pants, so it went anyways. It's this cute Von Dutch um, suede bag. It's actually a really good size. You can fit a lot of things in it. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I also love that the strap is actually adjustable, so even though it's like still a shoulder bag, it's big enough that like it doesn't feel like something's under your arm. And it's like, oh, sorry, I keep looking at myself. It's big enough that it doesn't feel like something's under your arm. And it's like really comfortable. So I really like that bag. 
Um, it's definitely more of a bag for summer and spring, so I probably won't get much wear out of it um, in autumn and stuff because just the color palette is just not giving autumn, but I definitely think in spring um, this bag will be coming out a lot. And op shop, well, what happened was one of my friends, Joel, from a few years back, he found this bag in an op shop and he said he was going to resell it. And then, and then I was like, I want it. And then he gave it to me and he goes, oh yeah, pay me 20 bucks for it. And then I never did. And I, I remember that. I'm like, fuck, I owe him 20 bucks for this bag. But he bought it for $5. So anyways, it's like a fake guest mini bag. This has probably been my most used bag ever. Um, the only thing I don't like about this bag is I feel like it's a little bit small. Um, you can't really fit much in it. And I also did break the tag, but it goes with every single outfit. It's really, really cute. <gasps> that reminds me, I do also have a big, another guest bag that I got at an op shop. It's quite big. I don't know if I have any photos with it, but if I do, I'll insert it. But I've got it up in storage at the moment, so I'm not going to get it down for the video. But it's basically like similar pattern to this, but a bit lighter and super big. Um, I'll insert a photo of it because, yeah, I feel bad that I didn't get it down. That would have been good. <laughs> the last, last bag before I get into my Dolls Kill bags because I've got heaps of those. I got this bag for Christmas. Was it for Christmas? Oh, I still have to cut the tag off. I got this guest um, bag for Christmas from my brother and his girlfriend. Um, and this is just basically my bougie bag. So when I'm going to like, so I went to like this um, Netflix premiere event for um, from Breakpoint um, during the Oz Open. And I brought this bag with me because it just makes me look a little bit more classy. Um, I don't really own any like like designer. Like this is like, guess is like, you know, my most expensive bag that I own. Sorry, it's making a lot of noise. But um, yeah, I really love this one. Like cute little... And like I love the, the gold, like I love this color of gold, it's so just, oh, I love it and it matches all my kind of gold, like that more yellowy gold. Yeah, it actually, it's pretty small but you can fit quite a lot in there because it's kind of like square, I don't know, it's really good, I really like it. Um, Yeah, it's a good option for me when I don't want to be like Y2K vibes and I want to look a little bit like classy and modern and then I bring this. My nose is like running, I hope you guys can't tell that my nose is literally running. Okay, now I have my Dolls Kill bags. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is this Sugar Thrills bag I got a while back. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this anymore. I think it's a little bit too young, um, young, childish, like yeah, a little bit young and childish for me right now. Um, but I'll still hold on to it. Like this is obviously such cute, like pink princess vibes. It's got the bows, the bows right here and it's got this little sparkly gem and the chain makes it a little bit edgy. Um, I do think it's very, very cute. I'm just like... I think because it's like very like um, stiff, it's very stiff and like when I wear it, it just feels very like stiff under my arm. Um, I don't know if it suits my style too well. Like Sugar Thrills that's a, does a lot of interesting bags. I feel like this is the most basic bag Sugar Thrills has ever done. Um, yeah, I do really love it. It's very cute, but I'm not sure how much wear I'll get out of it. Yeah. Um, now for my Generation Kiss bags, people went crazy when I posted wearing this bag. Um, this is like Generation Kiss is like on a brand that's on Dolls Kill and they're basically just like very Y2K and true to it as well. They're very 2000s. So I was obsessed when I saw this bag. Like, are you kidding me? I might wear it on the weekend with my purple outfit. Like metallic. It's got the mirror on it, which is handy. Um, and I love how it like, it's movable. Like it, it actually like feels real. Like the other one was a little bit stiff. Sorry that the chair keeps creaking. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this bag. I think it's so cute. The next generation kiss bag I have is was from their collection after that one. Um, they came up with a few different bags. This was the only one I really liked, this black one. I didn't actually have any like black mini bags, as you could tell. So this was like a really good option. It's got the big GK for generation kiss on it. And the little charm has a crown. Um, and I love the chain. It's very edgy and cute when I want to wear like an all black outfit. You know, this is perfect. The only thing is I'm more of a gold jewelry wearer, so sometimes it's a bit tricky because this is silver, um, but it's still very cute. I do love it. Um, before I show you my true recent Generation Kiss bags, I'm just going to quickly show this. Um, this is also from Dolls Kill. It's another brand on there. I can't remember what they're called, but um, they have like a fairy collection, and I just love this. Like, It's not really a messenger bag, but it reminds me of it, but I did actually break the zip. <laughs> but like, you just kind of wear it like this. Um, and yeah, it's good to like, if you want to like, if you're going out somewhere and you want to bring like a change of clothes, like I went with my friend to like the city and I brought like a pair of pants in here to change into later. So it's kind of good for that kind of thing. These are my two recent generation kiss bags. I have not worn these yet. I literally just got them, I think two days ago. 
Um, it's from their newest collection. I always love getting their bags. I feel like their bags are just so cute and you don't have to worry about sizing because it's a bag. Um, so there's this bag, which is, I think it's like almost the exact same design to the purple. Yeah, it is the same design as the purple, except it's in like a suede, like a suede leather. I actually have the matching jacket to it, which I'm going to be wearing today. Um, and it's like got the braid here. It's literally the same as the purple. It even has the mirror, but just in this like grayish color, which I think is really, really gorgeous. Um, I just like loved it. I love the shape of these bags. Like I just think they look so cute. So I'm really excited to wear that. And this one, as if I wasn't going to buy this, literally metallic pink. I bought it immediately. I didn't even wait for it to be on sale because normally Doll School has really good sales. Um, it's similar shape to the black one. My mom says this looks like a butt or actually if you think about it, it actually looks like something else. Oh, sorry, I keep looking at myself. Um, but it's like a holographic pink and it come, come, comes off as like greeny, purpley. It is literally gorgeous. Oh, it like goes with my nails really well. I'm really excited to wear this. I feel like this is going to get a lot of wear um, this winter because I really want to have like the metallic color clothing. Guys, that is all. Um, that's my whole purse collection. I am banning myself from buying any more. I really do not need any more and I'm happy with what I've got. <gasps> I nearly forgot my prized possession. Hold on, guys. I think this is the most money I've ever spent on a bag. Genuine vintage juicy couture, or well, juicy couture from I think 2011. Um, yeah, I spent a lot on this <laughs> from Nisa Thrifts, one of my favorites. This, oh my god, as if I forgot to show this, I'm such a fool. How cute is it? I literally love it so much. It's got the same emblem as the gray, the inside. I still got lipstick and stuff in my sailor lipstick. The inside says hello. Um, it's got like a tan and pink inside and the, the outside's like brown. It's got like a little phone pocket. Not that our phones could ever fit in that, but maybe I'll put something else. I put other random shit in there and it has the little sparkly thing. And I love how this one has the gold because I'm a gold wearer. So this is really, really good for me because it'll actually match and it won't look like mismatched silver and gold. Okay. Now that is officially all. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're just coming here for the first time um, Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and stay tuned for more videos. Okay. Bye